This video explains how to compile analysis cities on Linux. I'm using Linux Ubuntu and uh, I am going to show you the whole process assuming that you already have all necessary third parties. So here we start from the website hosting analysis cities on GitLab and uh, we first clone the repository as you can see from, from the console. Uh, then the next stage is to configure analysis cities with CMake and for that I'm running CMake GUI which I have pre-installed on my machine. Here in CMake as usual we specify the directory with sources and also the directory where we are going to build the application. It's build subdirectory in my case. As a generator we are going to use Unix make files and once we click finish CMake prepares the list of variables for us to modify. And we start here from the third party dir and here I just specify usr slash lib and then uh, click uh, configure. Here we have to indicate where CMake should find all the third parties including Eigen, OpenCascade, FreeType, TCL and VTK. And also there are some optional third parties including RapidJSON for example and FBX. Uh, on my machine, in my case, I have all these third parties pre-installed and if you do not have them, you can follow the guide, which is a text document explaining how to install all the third parties for analysis CDs. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial where to download Open Cascade, how to build it, how to build VTK, how to configure and build uh, TCL and uh, all other third parties necessary for you to get started. So here I'm just picking up all the available third parties. Make sure to carefully specify all the third parties including Eigen because if you make a mistake here you will notice it only during the compilation process. And once you are done you click configure then generate. It means that all the make files are prepared. Then you can step into this build subdirectory which uh, CMake generated for you and from this directory run make and then compilation process starts. Once the compilation process is done you can go and install all the analysis cities binaries to the destination directory which you should have specified in CMake as install dir directory. Analysis cities is going to be installed simply by copying all the binaries including all the third parties to the destination directory. And from this destination directory you are supposed to launch their application. So if you head over to the installation folder you will find there the bin subfolder and from there you can launch this, you can execute this bash script which we have there. It's rcxe.sh and this uh, bash script should normally launch the application and you can test if the application is operational by loading a step file or a prep file into it. The purpose of the bash script is to set up this LD library path variable so that we can launch our executable with all the runtime dependencies right in place. And also this bash script allows us to pass like a file name to analysis situs right away when it's launched. And if you are not happy with the warning which analysis situs prints on launch, you can go and erase this argument from the eval instruction. And once you are done with that, you can test uh, some modeling functions like I'm doing here. I create a box, I test that selection works, but I have my host geometry. Um, available in the host viewer and also parametric domain in the domain viewer. So everything should be fine. So here I am just doing some experiments in the viewer to see that all the viewers, all the widgets are sort of operational so that I can investigate my host geometries and faces and stuff. Probably one last thing which I want to touch in this short video is the compilation guide for analysis situs. So far we discussed how to compile analysis situs itself given that you have all the third parties pre-installed in your Linux system. If it's not the case, if you start from a bare image uh, without any dependencies pre-installed, which is quite often the case when you work in a Docker environment, then you'll have to install all the prerequisite libraries including Qt, including 
TCL and free type, free image, open cascade and all these things. And some of these things are better to be compiled from scratch because analysis situs might require some specific versions of the libraries. For example, we use VTK 8.2 so far and Open Cascade 7.4, which is pretty important. So this guide addresses all these small dirty issues, which version of each library to pick up to be able to successfully compile the software. I think that's it. If you have any questions, then feel free to post them here below this video or on our forum at analysisitus.org/forum. And I wish you good experiences with the software.